I, I think that when the series ended, the thing that I said was, oh, the only guy that guaranteed is gone is going to be Keith. The only, yeah. the, the way that I'm, I'm having a tough time with this one though, because so they're paying him, right? And I know you just said that they've got an unlimited budget, but I do wonder if they're saying to themselves right now, okay, hey, we do have unlimited budget. We'll let this guy go, but show us the alternative. Show us the option that you want to bring Patrick in here. Roy. Okay. Patrick Wild, that's what you want to do? I would do it tomorrow. Yes, I would do it today. And I'm not even kidding. I don't want the I Montreal want... stink in Toronto. I'm saying, I'm yeah, not even kidding. I, I know. <laughs> like, I, I know I brought that. it up, and I'm, I, I know. Why? But I watched him coach a game yesterday. His team was dialed in. He's got those, again. He's it's, an it's awesome junior, junior coach, and he loves the hey, Ramparts. And he loves the Ramparts. I get it. This team, the, the players now are a little bit different, a little bit different mm-hmm. than they were when he last coached. I think he's learned what he needs to do at the NHL level in order to be successful. When he came in, I remember playing against Colorado when he was coaching. He had this hardcore man-on-man system, and we'd play against them, and we would take advantage every time because it's like you can't play strict man-on-man to that degree in the NHL or you're going to get just taken over all over the ice. And then his second and third year, he started to go to a bit of a hybrid. And you could see yesterday in that junior game, he has a new kind of hybrid defense, which it seems to be working at that level. But I look at Patrick of how he was, you know, he has Simon Gagne now on the bench, mm. you know, running the power play. It sounds like he's the guy who runs the power play. Patrick comes up the five on five in the structure and obviously who's going out on the ice. So I, you know, I'm going through like all these coaches who is it Gallant, uh, you know, Laviolette, I texted mm. you earlier on, who'd be a good guy. You know, Patrick Roy, I think would be Wa or Roy, whatever you want to go yes, by. I, um, I go by the the what the right Wah. way to say his name. He's one of the greatest players of all time. I try to throw a little respect on like you, I Wah. guess. I should, yeah, Qua. Well, my my dad, my middle name's Roy. So yeah, okay. Anyway, I I, uh, I don't think that they are taking the the shot from you. You know, like they're not like yeah. What does uh, Christopher C call it? Oh, okay, that's the right way. No, he's uh, Wa. He's Patrick Wa. Patrick Wah. Yeah, there you go. I'm vouching for him. Yeah. I want him here. <laughs> yeah. And he he dictated the terms on the ice all game yeah. against Seattle. That Seattle coach didn't know what was going on. He got out coached, outclassed everything. The team didn't even look ready. So I'm watching that game and I start to think, why not Toronto? Mm. You know, is is this a place for him? A guy who's not scared of pressure. He's a Hall of Famer. He's gone to the NHL. He's been back to junior. He understands what it takes. And he, maybe if a guy like Simone Gagne comes with him to help him more on the offensive end and whoever they want to bring as the defense coach, that I start looking at that as a, as a, a great fit. Again, Listen. I don't know if that's going to happen. And you talk about Montreal and Toronto, yada, yada. Yeah. But I'm looking for a guy who's not scared of the pressure, who can come in here, who could lead a team, who's got a personality. I think they the fans would rally behind him. And he's someone that, you know, understands what it takes. So, uh, again, just looking at all the coaches out there right now and someone, oh, who's not better than Keith? This yeah. guy's better than Keith. I okay. guarantee you. So, it, this is a really interesting thing. I wasn't prepared for this at all. And now I, I kind of need to go down this rabbit hole of just kind of playing it out. To see him wearing Toronto Maple Leafs gear, like to see him in the Sheldon Keith blue and white zip up, Patrick Waugh sitting on the Leafs bench, or standing on Leafs bench, oh. it would be the weirdest. I, I think it would... My brain would never accept it. I would be fully staring at it every single time going, this makes zero sense. 